For now, um, Nick Gillette's 101 class has been preparing for this moment for the last eight weeks. Um, Nick, I'm sure, wishes very much that he could be here to see them, but he is performing in the, uh, in the Fringe Festival. Um, so I have the great privilege of introducing them to you. Please, welcome to the stage, the very talented Eight is Enough! <laughs> Our Nick Gillette's 101 improv class, as already introduced. Now, we would like a word for inspiration on which we will base our sketches vaguely. Bananas. Dance! Penguin! Strawberries! Pencil! Trousers! Corn! Bananas! Uh, Bananas. Uh, <sighs> Another day at the zoo. <laughs> hey, check out those monkeys. Yeah. That's my kid right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, are you suggesting some kind of trans-species breeding? No, oh, are you not a monkey? <laughs> I've been living like a monkey for years. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I got, I want a banana. I got all these bananas. I always <laughs> want a banana. <laughs> <laughs> my treat. You ever hear of those uh, banana split things? <laughs> but 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 that's I'm a person. Oh, people don't do that. Oh. Oh. But if I you think it will accept me if I really just let loose? I mean, don't you want to live in there? I mean, the recession's just eat shit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going like that. Go for the first four 
bowels, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought that we had this connection uh, about oranges and apples and talking about them yeah. in all different syllables. Uh, well, we were, the idea was we were going to spread it to the masses. We were going to tell everybody about the different ways you can change the first letter of fruit names. <laughs> <laughs> it starts It starts here, and then it, and then it expands. It takes time. Uh, Humor me, how does that work? <laughs> what, 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 is there some kind of social media campaign we're starting? What are, what, what are we doing? Absolutely, AOL Instant Messenger, it's all over it. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what, I never thought of that. We could like come across some sort of list of screen names, start IMing people, get them on board. Yes. This is not a bad idea, and then they'll know that, you know, you can change vowels to other vowels. It's, a, it's amazing. Exactly. I mean, we cannot let people go on living their lives not knowing about the magic of bananas and apples and oranges you know and different what? vowel sounds. You are so Wait. Uh, so I forget. Why? Why can't we let people go on <laughs> that way? I mean, they seem to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? Yo, um, how, how do you think this looks? Like crap. So <laughs> not, not $87 worth? It's made of bananas. Yes. You gonna buy that? I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. It complements my complexion. It's made of bananas. <laughs> you really gonna buy that? Yes. I'm not yes. gonna buy it. Well, you don't have to buy it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> No, I'm not going to let you buy it. Okay. Um, you can buy it if you want. You're sending me mixed messages. Um, so am I getting the script? I love you. Okay. <laughs> uh, because you're one of the best minds in the business. We gotta save this zoo. All right, I'm with you. All right, what do you, go, I mean, where do you even start? We got monkeys, we got lions, we got polar bears. They're all behind cages. Okay. Maybe we should flip things around put the, get uniforms. Put the visitors in cages. Visitors, yeah, sure. And okay. A to B, I mean, some people are into like a, like a bondage kind of a thing, but they you know, hands up. Right, just right. just pay a little bit to just be in. I like it. I like it. I can find no fault with that. Sure. Lawyers. <laughs> you got. You got to get on the lawyer forums on the internet. So, so how does that work? Exactly. So then, so people will come into the zoo. They will be put in the cages. Yeah. Like, they will be watched by animals in uniforms. Yeah. Now, how long, how long do we keep that? Is it? Are we going to have to arrange for food for the people, or are we just going to tell them, you know, sort of a BYOF kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, they're paying, it, you know, admission. It, Ages, they should at least be, you know, hosed down in like just fed buckets of meals or something. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and the, you know, the animals in the board, if they don't have. Chocolate. That's true. Yeah, it's really all about entertaining the animals. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a humanity. Well, yeah. not human and animal therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, they've been. But I mean, because we've been receiving them. That's sort of the problem with this zoo. Why we lose so much revenue? The animals are not happy. And we get all of our revenue from the animals. They pay us to be at the zoo. <laughs> so, yeah, I think they would really be into that. I mean, what more, you know, that's like the ultimate revenge scenario. You know. Families together, is it like everyone gets their own cage? What do you think the animals would enjoy more? They would probably enjoy watching the suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've been. You know, yeah, they can relate. They can. They yeah. latch on to that. We've been watching them for a while. It's, it's yeah. probably about time that you know they get their retribution. All oh, right. This is. I mean, so far I've never heard of a flaw, more flawless idea. <laughs> this is a uh, Red's Charter. We are here today with live news, and apparently two people have opened up a zoo where people are behind bars. We've got, a, we've got someone on the scene. I can't tell who it is right now. Uh, it's a delay in response. Oh, there it is, there it is. We've got uh, Aaron on the scene. Aaron, Aaron, tell us about the situation. We hear about people behind bars. 
Yes, Josh, it is wild. People are behind bars and they are <laughs> <laughs> And the animals are loving it, which is crazy. Where are the animals in this? Are they with the, uh, with the people behind the bars? No, no, no. The animals are watching the people in the bars and behind the bars. And it is, it looks like right here I have, okay, this is Susie. Susie is behind bars right now. Can Susie tell me her experience here? <laughs> so, this makes me feel important. If she finds me interesting, maybe I am. <laughs> <laughs> and look, look at look at this bear right here enjoying it. Look at how much. Well, this certainly does sound exciting. And, and, and how are they getting fed? I've heard something about slob being thrown on them. Is this something that they? All enjoy? right, time for the meat hose. <laughs> um, oh, <Yes>. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Tell me, who was the first person in the world to eat a grape? 
<laughs> you, Matt. You. I'm taking this class as like to fill my electives. <laughs> <laughs> to a word you were just saying. Oh. I'll be honest with you. I'm still a little hungover. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, right? It's just fruit. It's not important. <laughs> person to eat a grape was? Who cares what the most delicious watermelon was? Who cares, right? We might as well throw it away. No! No! This is important. Do not yell so loud, please. Don't yell. I'm very passionate about fruit, okay? This is the only class I teach. Seven days a week, I'm in here. Four classes a day, teaching people about the ins and outs of fruit. And you're going to come in here and not give me your full attention? Let me ask you something. When was the last time you ate a piece of fruit? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I need you to think about it. And give me a more specific answer. Because does, does where he does water ice count? <laughs> When the teacher started puking because this girl was talking about Rita's raw rice as fruit. I, I skipped that day. You skipped that day? Yeah. It was real weird. He was really into fruit. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to teach a class seven days a week about, a week, a week about fruit, I, I guess you got to have that passion. It's good to like, pursue your passion. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe choose ones that are like less mundane, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
there on that ledge. I was just wondering the same thing. I have no idea how he got there. What do you think he's going to do? I think we should help him. Oh! Nah. <laughs> nah. He'll be fine. Oh! No, I guess he won't be fine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, usually they take at least, you know, five or ten minutes to think it over. I mean, that was, that was a split second. <laughs> Whoa. There's a guy dead on the ground. Yeah. How, how, how did that happen? <laughs> we, we were here to see it all. See what? Split second. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I have, uh, I have trouble remembering things. <laughs> oh, sir, sir. So, did you so, know this man? Did you, uh, no, did you kill this man? <laughs> <laughs> of you course kill, not. Did you I, I don't have any idea who you are. What do you mean? Blonde hair, blue eyes? Do I look like a killer? Oh my god, there's a dead guy! <laughs> <laughs> did, sir, sir. Did I kill that guy? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> alright, alright. One week two. Okay, this is worse than before. Uh, the meat hoses are drying up. The people have been in there for days without meat. The animals. Uh, hey, um, take it easy. This is still going to be the experience of a lifetime. I need thirty dollars. I just want meat. <laughs> All right. What has meat? What is made of meat? Animals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.